Hello, this is Vlad from CodeWeapon.com. Thank you for being here. Uh, in this demonstration, I want to give you just a brief information about installation and working process. So, let's begin. Unzip the file you've downloaded onto the desktop or anywhere else, it really doesn't matter. After that, you'll see the main files folder, uh, open it. Here in this folder you'll see two installation files, both for Windows and Mac. And here will be some user guide documentation from which you can learn all the stuff I'll be talking about and it even have more information about tips and tricks and other things. Ok, now installation file depending on which operating system you are right now. In my case it is Mac, so I'm choosing Mac OS installation file. If you've ever installed any files, it won't give you any hurdles. Uh, so now let's click next, then type your password to allow the installation, and then click install. If you're already running your Photoshop, it will ask you to just restart it. After the installation, fire up the Photoshop, then go to Window, Extensions, and click on the Soft Enamel Pin Generator and you see the panel up and running. Now let's see how it works. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to generate template. This template is for your better experience and to pick the right proportions for your graphic. The first graphic that we are going to test on is the image that doesn't have any contour around their parts. Let's put it to our generated template by drag it and drop. When you aligning template, it doesn't need to be right in the center or it shouldn't be within the red bounds, but I highly recommend you to do this. But anyway, you can experiment with it, relying on a final result. Once you've read it, make sure you selected the correct option. By default, it goes without counter. And then click next button. On this tab too, make sure you selected the image layer. Step 3. On this step, you, your cursor automatically changes to the Magic Band tool. With this tool, you are going to select areas on our image. Click over the area you want to select, and if you see that you have multiple instances of the same color, you click on the Similar Colors button, and program automatically will select all the instances of the selected color. Ok, let's do this. see that any of the colors is like a lonely loner sitting alone, don't hesitate and click on the single color button. When you've done, click next. Step 4. This step is very easy. Select the weight of the contour and then click next. Step 5. This is the final step where you should decide which style is better for your tastes and then click finish button. And it will convert all the layers into the editable smart object. Now I want to quickly show you how to do the same but for the image that has contour around their parts. The working flow goes the same as previously, so I'll explain only necessary parts. Here we need to select the Has Counter option. Don't forget about it. As the counter is a part of our image, like any other parts, we are selecting it as usual. Here what we need to do. We need to confirm that some layer that has been cut from the image is our actual counter. So select layer with the counter and click on the button 
Apply Counter and then click Next. Now you can play the result anywhere you want it to be. That's all, thanks for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask me. The links will be down below under the video. Please if you want to like and subscribe feel free to do this, there will be a whole lot more new interesting products. Bye bye.